It's power yoga time. It's Tuesday of our seven day yoga challenge. This is power yoga for strength and focus. Keep sharing this challenge with all your friends and family and tag me at Sean Vig Fitness. Grab your mat, let's go. Live from my deck, we have a booming thunderstorm rolling in, so let's get filming. Cap on to block the sweat. Check out the new shirt. We're all very excited about this shirt. Welcome to my deck. Let's begin, child's pose. Breathing in the nose and out the nose for all of these poses. This is power yoga, so we're gonna flow. We're gonna build, but we're also gonna release. We wanna release tension. You wanna move into the poses and the sequences, not punching into them, but finessing into them. Breathe in the nose, out the nose. Five deep breaths right here. Let your body spill into child's pose. Deep abdominal breathing. Oh, I love filming when a storm's rolling in. It's rolling off Mount Evans right behind the camera. Two more breaths. Draw the shoulders back. Reach the fingers out. Spill forward a little bit. Oh, I spilled my child's pose once more. All right. Good fun stuff. Coming to downward facing dog. I misplaced my tripod, so the camera is sitting on a nightstand right now. <laughs> We make it work anywhere, anytime. Downward facing dog. We're gonna build up some flows, focus our attention, and basically focus our focus. Let everything else kind of drift away as you breathe deep. Release the shoulders, spread the fingers wide. Two more breaths in down dog. Seven day yoga challenge. Different yoga routine each day, Monday through Sunday. Okay, put together a vinyasa power flow. Inhale, we're going to shift the weight forward into plank position. High push up hands underneath the shoulders, elbows in, modify with the knees down. Shoulders are back. Press through the heels, stretch the backs of the legs. Now press through the toes. So we shift our weight slightly forward. Notice the shoulders come in front of the wrists. Now we're going to lower down. This is Chaturanga, hover, a lot of strength. It takes strength and focus, which is great because the title of the workout. Bring it all the way down, tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Elbows into the sides, lifting through the chest. Keep the chin slightly tucked. Exhale, massage down on your tummy and your ribs. And let's do that once more, cobra. Exhale, lengthen forward through the crown, the top of the head. And now let's summon all our strength and courage and go all the way up and back with the exhale to downward facing dog. That's vinyasa flow. I've taught it thousands of times, and today is no different. Let's put it together. Inhale, forward, plank position. We want flow. We want to move. Press forward, hover, lower down. Let the blood circulate as we surrender down to the mat. And then inhale, cobra, or extend all the way up. This is upward facing dog. Shoulders back and down. Squeeze the glutes. You want to lift. Oh, yes. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg, bring it up tall. If I lengthen my leg anymore, I'm going to hit the railing. One more inhale, lift higher. Three legged dog. Now exhale forward. This is reverse lunge. Bring the left foot forward. Knee and ankle line up. Take your right arm, reach it up and back. Take your left arm to the lower back. Stretching back. Two more breaths. All right. Inhale. Extend those arms forward. A little hinge. Exhale. Inhale. Lift a little bit higher. Exhale. Lengthen. Once more. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Lengthen. And continue coming down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, lengthen through the heel. Once again, inhale, lift. And lengthen once more, lift a little higher. There we go, open the hip a little bit, and then exhale, shift that right foot forward, reverse lunge, left arm up, right arm lower back, reaching up and back. There we are. Two more breaths. Breathe into the pose, deepen 
the pose, the potential of the pose, and your whole life with every breath. As we delve deeper, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Lengthen. Once more. You want to lengthen, bend that right knee a little more, and set the hands down, step back. Plank position, go through your flow, press forward, lower down. Same speed, all the way down. All the way down, so we have Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. You might sense and feel some little movements up and down the spine, adjustments. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale forward, reverse, test it out once more, right arm up, reverse lunge. One more breath. All right, exhale, step back, down dog. Let's do reverse lunge, other side, right foot up, forward, left arm. I'd like to increase the speed, increase the rate, how we, how we, oh, let me think of that word later. All right, step back to plank position. Flow, press forward, hover. Ah, there we go. How we digest the movement. That's what I'm trying to say. Lift up, lift up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Prayer warrior three. Bringing in the focus. Left foot down. Take the hands together in the lunge. And then push the weight forward into that left foot. Right leg comes up. Left knee slightly soft. Two more breaths. Now take the right arm, test the balance. There's so much focus in that balance, so much strength. Hey, oh, I'm fortunate I have a railing right there. <laughs> and we extend. Now take it to half moon. Left hand down and lift the right arm up. You want to keep that left foot open. Hi there. As we lift up, I did a 15-hour car ride yesterday. Little shaky, but there's no time like the present. This is when we do it. Now, take the right foot down, step back, lunge, bring the arms up, sink into the lunge. One more breath. Now, hinge forward, step back, downward facing dog. There we are. Little movement, toes are loose. Inhale, right leg up. And we have our Warrior three, prayer, warrior three on the other side. Bring it up, hands together, shoulders back, and put the weight forward again. A little wobbly. I am, are you? Find the focal point. And with that calm determination, focus on it now. Left arm forward. Okay, now, how about that? Take the right hand down, there's a transition. This might get me left arm up. Lengthen the right leg. Take the eyes up if you wish. Woo! Okay, exhale back to the lunge. A little, little two-step, okay. Reach up. <sighs> Recovering, recovering, reach up, one more breath. Now let's go through the vinyasa flow. Step or jump back. You can kick the leg up, come down into hover, and then upward facing dog or cobra. Okay. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, forward. Triangle, pivot the right foot. Let's take the left hand down, lengthen. Can you see me? Left leg and extend the right arm. There we are. This is extended triangle. It is. For full extreme triangle, take the left arm up, lace fingers, index finger and thumb out, and we have it. Right shoulder back. Two more breaths. Feel that length in the spine. Squeeze the thighs. That's right. Now set the hands down, step back, down dog. Inhale, right leg up, and then forward. Triangle. Extend it in the wind or both the arms up three breaths 
Simply marvelous. Set the hands down. You can kick the leg back if you like. Come on down. And then up dog or cobra. Get a little strength going here. Come to plank position. The plank up. I want you to take your right forearm, left, right hand, left. Switch other side. Just like that. Ten more times total. So here's one, two. Little surprises all the time. Three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, we got it, nine, once more, ten, press it back, down dog, jump or walk forward, and chair. Take the arms out nice and wide, weight is in the tush. Toes are loose, wiggle the toes. Two more breaths. All right, dive down, forward fold. Whew. Inhale, flat back, fingers on the floor or the mat. From here, step or jump back, plank position, flow. Press forward, down, lift. Less oxygen here, I forgot. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up, forward. Okay, here's a nifty bit of hustle and bustle. Come up to, whoa, lunge. Arms up, shoulders relaxed. Lunge to standing splits. I want you to exhale forward, kick the right leg up, and tuck the chin towards the knee. Inhale, that's the tough one, back to lunge. Again, exhale up and over, lift. Take an extra breath. Kick it back. Lunge two more times. Lift that back leg even higher on the transition. Little warrior three. And then dive down. Up and back. One more time, my friends. Kick up. There we go. <laughs> and down. Take it back, the old lunge. <sighs> the storm brews. Take the arms back behind you. There's our mudra again. Lace the fingers, open the chest, and then sink it down. Step back, down dog. Inhale, right leg, forward, lunge. Are you ready for the other side? <sighs> lunge to standing splits, here we go. Four times, and lift. Nose towards the knee, up and back. It's that transition, always a transition. It's what we work on, we iron it out. We build that efficiency of movement. Two more times, up and down. Back, uh-huh. One more time. A little wobbling is good, that builds character, my friend. We're not perfect. We will not do the moves, quote, perfectly. We will always be working on them, but we will improve. We will grow and we will be excited by it. All right, mudra, open, one more breath. All right, bring the hands down, step or jump back, plank into hover, down we go, lift. Shoulders back, squeeze the glutes, downward facing dog. Five breaths right here, melt into the pose. Excellent, three more, relax the neck. Eagle study. Inhale, left leg up. Let's go to warrior position. Left foot forward, right foot pivots. Take your left arm forward, right arm underneath, wrap around, turn to the front. Hands together or make fists right here. With each exhale, twist a little further. Lengthen that right leg and keep this knee open. The tendency is to turn in like that. Keep her open. Two more breaths. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Now turn forward, pivot the right foot forward. We have eagle lunge. Lift with the inhale, exhale, sink down. Again, lift. Sink down, 
Two more breaths. Feel that body coming alive, and it's only Tuesday once more. <laughs> All right. Eagle. Step forward, press back. Here's half eagle. You want full eagle? Take your left leg and wrap it around the right. Focus, focus. Hips square, fingers up. Shoulders down, elbows forward. Two more breaths. Okay, release. Step or jump back. Plank position. Vinyasa flow. Down, down, down. Hold the hover for a moment if you like. There's so much more. There is so much more to do. Always doing more. Keep watching these videos. You can repeat this sequence too as much as you like. Inhale. Right leg up. Warrior, right arm forward, eagle arms. Lace, turn. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. That's a mantra right there. One more breath. Now turn her to the front. Here we are, four breaths right here. Inhale, lift from your strong center, from your core. Exhale, sink down. Lift. Exhale, sink down a little further. Two more breaths. By George, we have it. Once more. Now, eagle. Step the feet together, hip width. Press back. You want the full eagle, the full experience. Right leg wraps around the left. Fingers up. Shoulders down. Elbows forward. Two more breaths, focus. Okay, kindly unravel the arms. Dive down, forward, fold. Walk the legs 10 times, one at a time, twist it out. Two, three, four. I wanna keep these workouts under 20 minutes for this challenge, which is difficult for me. I wanna keep adding, there's so much more to do. So make sure you keep checking back you keep subscribing and if you want a 30-day challenge I've been thinking about that let me know in the comments inhale rising up stacking 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 shoulders back and let's dive down again downward facing dog five more vinyasa flows vinyasa power flows on their own inhale lower down it's poetry of movement it's a rhythm there's a purpose. That's one. Again, forward. Down. Concentrate your power and your focus into every movement. Three more times from down dog. Tops of the feet lift. Feel what the therapeutic impact this has on your body. And two more. Slowly, you melt down into it. When your friends see you do this, you want to practice it so much that you make it look easy, make it look graceful, make it look really fun. The muscles, the mind, the spirit, every part that you are is yoked together. How'd that happen? All right, downward facing dog. And jump the feet forward, seated position. All right, and that's Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, the Sean Vig 7-Day Yoga Challenge on the Sean Vig YouTube channel. That seems apropos. Keep sharing. Tag me at Sean Vig Fitness, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless, my friends. Keep practicing.